Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30 minute full body drop set workout. What you're going to need today is a mat and then dumbbells. It is dumbbells only, but it's a drop set day. So grab all the weight selection that you have handy. You and I are different, but for reference, I'll tell you what I'm using. I, I have a pair of 25s, 20s, 15s, 10s, and 5s. Again, it's a drop set day, so we'll be dropping that weight, and we may even need to drop mid set as well. So have all the dumbbells around. Here's today's format, it's drop sets. So each block will contain a drop. The first exercise will always be performed for 60 seconds and we're going to grab something heavy, something challenging during that exercise while maintaining really great form, of course. We'll then have 10 seconds to transition, drop our weight, get prepared for the next exercise. The first 45 seconds of that exercise will be one to a quarter rep. The quarter rep will be at the hardest part of the movement. And then that final 15 seconds, we pulse and we'll pulse wherever we did the quarter rep at. After that is up, we'll have 15 seconds seconds to fully recover before transitioning to a new exercise. Recovery time is pretty limited today because we are changing muscle groups. So once we hit one muscle group, then we're going to move on to a different muscle group that's not as fatigued. So recovery time is limited. But of course, if you need extra recovery, hit that pause button, take a drink, and then meet me back on your mat when you're ready. So to recap the format real quick, 60 seconds, heavy weight, challenge yourself, really great form. 10 seconds, we drop the weight to something lighter. We'll then perform a new exercise, one to a quarter rep for 45 seconds, 15 seconds to pulse, and then 15 seconds to recover and transition to a new block. You know I'm giving cues throughout upcoming demos in the corner of your screen. So go ahead, meet me on your mat in a supine position, so on your back, and let's get to work. We begin your workout today with a dumbbell pullover with a crunch. Go a little bit lighter on this exercise since this is our first exercise of the day. So meet me on your back, knees bent, grab your dumbbell, handle side to increase the range of motion. Your elbows have a slight bend in them, but from there, don't bend anymore. We wanna use those lats to bring that up. Now, as we do that, we're bringing the knees in towards the chest, lift up, use the abs to bring it in, and then control it down. Take this movement slow and controlled. This begins your workout in three, two, and one, let's go. Make sure the small of the back is pressed into the mat especially if you have the tendency to slip into that anterior pelvic tilt, just meaning the pelvis wants to spill forward a little bit. So pr keep pressing that back into the mat, slow and controlled. Feel the lats, feel the abs, and make the movement. Everything is timed today, so you and I do not have to go at the same speed, same tempo, same pace. You and I are different, so find a pace that feels challenging for, for you while maintaining really great form and find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form. This is your workout, so I can't stress enough that you and I are different. You can go heavier, you can go lighter. Make this workout your own. Get what you need out of this workout today. Couple more reps, last three, two, and one, release the weight. We go to body weight only. Double crunch. We add the quarter rep at the top in three, two, and one. Bring it up, quarter rep, bring it down. Bring it up, quarter rep, bring it down. Now don't crunch the neck. The neck stays still. You're using the abs to make that movement. The tendency here, if you start to feel it in the neck, is to wanna flex the neck like that. We're keeping the neck neutral, using the abs to bring everything up. We pulse it out in three, two, and one. This is our 15 seconds where we just pulse. Breathe through it. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. 15 seconds to recover. Now next up, we have a dumbbell chest press. I have 25s for this, and then I'll drop to 10s for the chest fly. 45 degrees with the elbows. Press it up, control it down. 
Now, if you have heavier weights available and you find that this is a breeze, grab a heavier set of dumbbells. Since we are performing this on the mat, our range of motion is limited compared to a what we would have on a workout bench. So really challenge yourself here. Working your chest, working your delts. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side. Drop your weight selection. I'll be using tens. We have chest flies next. Slight bend in the elbows, but we, keep, we don't bend from the elbows anymore. So keep that lever long, go around your beach ball, feel a stretch along the chest, along the delts, and then bring it back together. So go around, long lever, feel the stretch, quarter rep, drive it in. Feel the stretch, contract, bring it down, contract all the way in. Hold the pulse, let's go, 15 seconds. Try not to let those elbows and forearms, triceps rest on the mat. You got this last three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down, stand it on up. We have goblet squats next. This is gonna be fun. Anchor two dumbbells to the chest. I'm gonna start with 25s, ambitious. Here we go, take it down, slow and controlled. Drive it up. Now everyone's range of motion will be different here. It will look different here. This is really going to target your glutes and your quads. Something that I just want you to be very mindful of is making sure the knees don't cave in. One more rep, last three, two, and one. Drop the weight, I'm dropping to one dumbbell, low squat, hold, <laughs> one to a quarter rep, same foot position, let's go. Quarter rep at the bottom, drive it up. Pulse it out in three, two, hold low, just pulse. Quads are on fire, stay here, you got this. Last three, two, and wow, 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 wow. All right, next up we have a dumbbell kneel to press. If you don't wanna come all the way down to the mat, what you can do is always just float the leg. I'll show you, let's do the left side first. So dumbbell in left hand, we take it back, kneel down with the left leg, press it up, core stays tight, and then drive it up. Core stays tight, take it back, press it up, 
drive it up. Take it back, core stays tight, drive it up, keep that back neutral, step it up. If you don't want to come all the way down, you can always just take it to a reverse lunge, but you'll find this to be a little bit more stable. Last three, two, and one. Drop the weight selection. I'm gonna drop to 20s, just a 20. Squat, push, press, same side, same side. This is my left side. Here we go, press it up. Give you a different view. Press it up. You're using the lower body to drive it up. No quarter rep. We pulse in three, two, one, stand it up, just pulse. Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right, we repeat that same thing on the right. <laughs> Here we go. Grab your dumbbell, use the same weight. Dumbbell in right hand, right foot steps back, kneel it down, press it up, control, drive up with the left foot. Step it back, kneel, core stays tight. Whenever we have a unilateral exercise, we need to keep our core engaged. So keep it tight as we press it up, and I want you to breathe through it. Breathe through the brace. Keeping your core tight will help stabilize your spine. It'll keep that pelvis from spilling forward. Stay with me, nice work. All right, here's where we drop our weight selection. Do what you just did. Squat, push, press, same side. Squat it down, use the lower body to drive it up. No quarter rep this round. But we pulse at the end. Just stand it up and pulse in three, two, just pulse. Try not to let that dumbbell rest on the shoulder. You got it. Last three, two, and one. Wow. 15 seconds to recover. Hip hinge, neutral grip row is next. I'll be using a 25 in each hand. Core's got to stay tight. Hips go back. Front of the core stays tight. Hips go back. Drive the dumbbells towards the back of the hips. Control it down.
Last rep. Nice. Drop the weight selection. One dumbbell. We continue the row, but you're holding that dumbbell with one hand. Quarter rep at the top. I'm going to give you a different view. Here we go. Grab the dumbbell. Quarter rep. Bring it down. Bring the dumbbell right towards the belly button. Pull the pulse in three, two, just pulse. Last three, two, and one. Next up, dumbbell RDLs. We're using 25s. Grab your dumbbells, core stays tight. Take it down for three, two, one. Drive it up. Core stays tight, front the core stays tight. The movement is in the hips. Think about sending the hips back, using the glutes to send the hips forward. Core stays tight, send the hips back. Spine does not move. Spine does not flex and extend. It stays still. It stays stable because we have our brace. Last rep, nice, all right. Release one of those weights. We have an RDL to squat combo. So the squat's gonna be our quarter rep. Same movement pattern here. So we take it down, hinge from the hips. Now we bend the knees and we squat it up. So hip hinge, RDL, bend it squat, drive it up. Hips go back, knees, then drive. Keep your brace active. Hips, knees, drive. So we're feeling a stretch along the glutes hamstrings. Now we're gonna add the quads and we're driving it up. Hold the squat and pulse in three, two, and one just pulse. Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right, on to a new one. We have a pronated row next, hip hinge. I'll be using 20s for this. Elbows will flare out. Core stays tight. Hip hinge position. Rip the dumbbells apart. Control it down. Last rep. Reverse fly is next. 
here we go. I'm dropping the tins. Hinge from the hips. Now we have a small lever at the quarter rep. Hold the pulse in three, two, and one, just pulse. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Next up, dumbbell curl to press. So I'll be using 15s. It goes by quick. Here we go, curl it up. Arnold press, control it down. Last rep, we drop our weight selection, one dumbbell, triceps are next. Grab the dumbbell, both hands, four stays tight, quarter rep during the stretch, contract it up. Pulse it out in three, two, and one, just pulse. Last three, two, and one, nice. Towel off, grab, drink water. Next up, dumbbell sumo squats. Two dumbbells, one in each hand. I'll be using 25s. Get into position, heels and toes out, wide stance. And let's go, we're gonna control it, move the weights. There's tons of weights around. Take it down, drive it up. This wide stance, an external rotation of the hip, heels and toes out, will really start to target your adductors as well, meaning those inner thighs. Last rep, three, two, and one. One dumbbell only, quarter rep at the bottom. And three, two, and one, grab that dumbbell, quarter rep, 
drive it up. Quarter rep, drive it up. We hold the pulse in three, two, one, just pulse. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbell lateral four way raise is next. I'm using tens, dropping to fives. Let's go. This is it, y'all. This is our final block like this before we get to our core and delt burnout. Last rep. Drop your weight selection. By all means, you can keep that weight selection. I shall be dropping. Here we go, final drop with dumbbells. Let's go. Quarter rep at the top, bring it down. Just the lateral raise. Think about taking the dumbbells out and then up. Keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. Try not to shrug. Working the outer portion of your delts, your medial delts. Keep the dumbbells slightly in front of the body. That'll help bias your outer delts. So you can also think about pouring a glass of water out at the top. Hold the pulse in three. Two, final pulse of the day. Come on, 15 seconds. Breathe through it. You got this. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Longer break, all right? Longer break. Meet me back on your mat. It's body weight only. Delt and core burnout continuous. Take that drink. All right, y'all. It is nonstop until the end. We have four and a half minutes of work. 4.5-ish exercises. It's a drop, I'm using quotations because just because we are dropping the intensity uh, challenge of the exercise, the exercises are still very challenging is what I'm trying to say. We begin with a push-up. You can do this off or on the knees. Keep the elbows at about a 45 degree angle. So we're here, you can either do it off the knees, on the knees, or you can go down off and then up on. If I start to lose my form, you will see me drop to one of those versions. Here we go. Push-ups non-stop until the end. Let's get going in three, two, and one. Let's go.
Next up, we have a high to a low plank, working on anti-rotation of the hips. In three, two, and one, come to your high plank. Core stays tight. We take it right forearm, left forearm, right hand, then left. Next time, go left, right, left, right. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. Core stays tight. If needed, you can always drop it to the knees whenever you feel like your form starts to slip. Next up, we have mountain climbers. We'll stay on the hands. Knees will come in, in three, two, and one. Knee comes in. Take it slow and controlled. If you want, you can speed it up. Option here, just rest, pause if needed, come out of it. When you're ready, get right back in it. Less than two minutes, y'all. Oh, we got this, come on. 20 more seconds here, then it's on our forearms. Forearm, plank, hip taps are next. And three, two, and one. Wow, come to the forearms, heels reach back. Now we tap it one hip at a time. The opposing arm will come up just a little bit. If needed, come down to the knees. Fifteen more seconds here, y'all. Then we end with a quick 30-second plank hold. Then we are done. We got this. Come on, a few more reps. Hold your plank in three, two, one. Hold it, but make it active. Core's tight. Push the mat away. Heels reach behind. Head reaches forward. Quads engage. Glutes engage. Get your core involved a little bit more. Push the mat away a little bit more. Drive the heels back a little bit more. Come on, we only have 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, last five, four. You got this, three, two, and release. We are done. Nice work. Virtual high five. Let's just stay right here. Wow, stretching out your abdominals. When you're ready, come to the hands to deepen the stretch. Everyone's range of motion is different, so feel free to just stay with the first variation. Big deep inhale. On the exhale, come all the way down. I'm going to remove my mic packet real quick. Stretch out your shoulders. Right goes to the side, right arm goes to the side. Roll it over. Deep stretch. Use a kickstand with the feet. And when you're ready, let's take it to the other side. Big deep inhale, come back to your belly, push off. Meet me in a tabletop position. Keep your hips stacked over your knees, walk the hands out until you come to puppy pose and start to shift the weight right and left and then hold center. Big deep inhale, 
On the exhale, walk it back in. Bring the right foot forward. Keep a neutral low back. And then bring it up and over, really getting that left hip flexor. You can even squeeze the left glute a little bit to make it a little bit more active. And when you're ready, start to straighten the right leg to get the right hamstring. Let's take it to the other side. If your body is craving more stretching, I will link some stretches, stretching videos below. And by all means, if you find a stretch that feels really, really good that I'm doing, just not holding it long enough for your personal preference, feel free to hit pause and or just at the end of this video, go back to it, hold it a little bit longer. When you're ready, straighten left leg. <sighs> Feels good. All right, quarter turn to me. One leg goes out. Doesn't matter what side, I'm mirroring you. So I'd be saying right, but it's really left. Hopefully that's not too confusing. And then bring it up and over, really getting your back and into your hip. Let's take it to the other side. I will also link uh, an additional very quick lower abdominal focus ab workout. I kept the core work mainly um, in an anti-rotational kind of movement today. It really focuses on deep core. But if you want a little bit more, I'll link one, another video that would be a great add-on below. As long as you tried your best today, that is what matters most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for doing that. And tag me in your posts and stories. I love to see them, please. Uh, at Laurie Midkiff on Instagram, Facebook, Fit by Laurie. Uh, let me know any questions that you may have below. I am always here for you. And most importantly, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.